Housing Authority under my leadership has crossed a very important highway in our policy and under Duterte administration and my administration as the general manager. We see to it that all our programs, projects, and policies are geared toward gender sensitive and that is being able to factor in both men and women in the development. Right now, NHA is in Pillar 3 application level. In fact, we're all excited that we have a number of responsive policy issuance that our God Champion has prepared and being implemented right now. In all of our phases, for example, in the observance of the Magna Carta for women, we've made sure that most of our projects will comply to the provisions of the law. That the basic and the most fundamental changes that we departed from the old to the new is for one basic design because in the design of NHA in the past, it used to be the 22 floor area. But during my time, we have increased the 22 to 26 and to 28. It has become more livable and it has more spaces available. A number of policy guidelines has been pursued. In fact, our God Champion has ensured that all of these are implemented nationwide. Uh, the problem on privacy has been uh, achieved, has been responded positively by our administration right now. You have the father, the mother, the children all lumped together and there is no sense of privacy. So what I did actually, especially in one of our projects in Tagum, we made it lofted already to provide 50% of the base structure so it makes 33 square meter already for floor area and that will respond to the requirements of privacy for women as well as for children. In the guidelines, in the site selection, site suitability, and site planning, the same gender framework has to be inputted. So we make sure that they are comfortable in having to ride on a van. Of course, the cargos will be handled by the cargo truck. But our passengers, our beneficiaries, we have become so sensitive with their particular needs. And to pursue greater efforts for God, an office order for 758 was signed by our JAD champion to strengthen the God focal point system, making all the regions being the God main focused uh, entity to pursue the God programs. we see that there is a declaration that they are solo parent mother. So in that manner, we normally prioritize them in the selection as well as in the award. And between 2015 up to 2018, we were able to complete 164,000 units. And these are all God-empowered communities nationwide. And above all, we also have the LRBs, which we call the low-rise building, five-story walk-up. And it's very essential for us to be able to profile them differently abled or the different capacities. It matters to us. We cannot assign you and award you to a fifth floor that by which it will be doubly hard for you to walk up. Dito, okay na yung bahay namin. Maganda yung tubig, malakas yung tubig. Maganda rin po yung ilaw. Ngayon, nagpasalamat talaga ako ng malaki na nakalipat kami dito. Kaya ito na po yun nangyari na nagkasama ako sa NHC. We also want to make mention that for 2018, an 8.8 .8 billion program attribution was actually pursued and implemented. And to ensure that we have God perspective in the entire authority, we have 100% attendance in all the GST programs, both for the employees and communities of NHA projects. The, the target of NHA right now is practically around 50,000 a year. So we intend to produce 50,000 housing units per year. So that is our tough target by which we hope to deliver this on time and on budget to 
to all of the beneficiaries. And at this point, we would like to thank the chairperson of PCW, Rodora Bukoy, and her outgoing executive director, Emeline Bersosa, for making us God Mainstream Agency. In behalf of the National Housing Authority, we are very honored and pleased to have been awarded the Bronze Award as Gadtimpala Award 2018. We are very challenged, happy to have been awarded and we shall gladly receive the award that we shall continue to provide the better technology, the better policy, the better procedure to be more gender sensitive to our clients and to our people. Maraming salamat po.